Good afternoon. I'm Lieutenant David Valenta of Using Victor, A L E N T A, with the LVMPD Homicide Sex Crimes Bureau, here to brief you on a current preliminary ongoing investigation into a homicide. Uh, Metro Dispatch received a call at about 12:30 uh, this afternoon, indicating that a male had been shot. Patrol officers responded, at which time they did find a male who was being described as a 34-year-old male who was uh, injured and then pronounced deceased on scene from a gunshot wound. That is currently in the 5200 block of Tipper Ave uh, in the far southeast side of town. Uh, very preliminary right now. We're still canvassing, looking for witnesses, video, talking to people. Very preliminary details. Uh, it sounds like there was an altercation, possibly over uh, limited parking in the street, cars blocking each other, which then escalated uh, between some uh, residents in the area, at which time uh, our believed suspect produced a handgun and fired a couple rounds, at which time our victim was struck uh, and down on the scene. Our suspect uh, has left the scene. Uh, we're still making attempts to thoroughly identify him. Um, before any apprehension. Uh, we encourage the public, as always, anyone with any information regarding this event, uh, please reach out to Metro Police. Uh, you can stay anonymous through Crime Stoppers. Uh, you can email Metro Homicide, homicide at lvmpd.com with any information. Uh, also related to this, uh, additional news that was created is because this neighborhood does butt up immediately to the south end of Courtney Junior High School. Uh, as typical police procedures, uh, when we have a shooting unknown suspect at that, it's, uh, we put the schools on lockdown as we did in this case. Uh, sounds like there was some miscommunication. Uh, some kids had, uh, being immediately right outside had heard the gunshots. Um, so between that confusion of calling to lock down a school, kids going inside saying they heard gunshots, uh, somehow that got communicated through cell phones, text messages um, into a possible active shooter. Uh, police responded to that um, and proved that that was a false, a miscommunication. There was no threat at any time at the school. Uh, school PD was immediately on scene. Metro immediately responded to, to assist uh, and everybody was uh, safely accounted for and evacuated uh, out of that school. So any concerns I can alleviate from the school, uh, just a miscommunication being immediately next to a crime scene where gunshots were heard. Uh, with that, any questions? Was anyone else? Uh, struck by gunfire or injured in any way other than the one At this time, we have information on a single victim. Any details on the victim that you can give other than that one you've already given? Uh, just a 34-year-old male uh, that we believe lives in the area. How many folks are living inside the residence? Uh, I don't have that information for you, sir. Is the suspect uh, a neighbor to the uh, victim? Uh, we believe it is somebody in the neighborhood as far as immediate neighbor or how many doors down. Uh, I can't say, and that has not been 100% confirmed yet. Uh, nothing has been 100% confirmed yet. Still ongoing, very preliminary. So you said there were kids living inside the home or they injured at all? I have no information on kids. Was the gun recovered at the scene or do you believe that the suspect still has uh, the Very gun? preliminary, still haven't even done search warrants, still have to go everything. I cannot account for any handguns, any of that, uh, which we hope to find uh, after, you know, search warrants. Thank you very much. Thank you.